So this is part two. The first one's uploading right now. And I just showed you how to make the shorter pad. Like I said, cosplay channel, making it two weeks. Recommend this. I, like I said in the first video, I highly recommend this cardboard thing from the ramen. They were even in the cups. I mean, it's thick cardboard, so. Just gonna eat that up there. <sighs> this thing's really hot. And I do have this little pin that I made a video about for the cosplay channel coming out in two weeks, like I just said. And it's like a jab pen, just hot glue. I gotta use two things from scissors, like two caps from the scissors that I don't like anymore, that are dull, that I got new ones for. Gotta unstring it and just make it look better. Cut all this, here I'll just show you. Used a broken piece of staple, I have to paint this still. Highlighter, remove the tip. Use a piece of broken black plastic. Gonna sharpen it. It's like a jab pin thing. Or not sharpen it, sorry, I need to dull it. Well, no, it's pretty dull. Except that one tiny shard right there. Uh, sorry if you can't understand me, because I'm wearing a mask and a bandana that's meant for a costume. All right. Glue knockoff logos, because I'm going to get it apart. And uh, glued the highlighter cap to the side and like glued the Lego piece to the thing right here. You need a screw. Like I said, the broken piece of pla black plastic. It, and it looks bad because I haven't shaved the excess hot glue right there. And all the strings and stuff off. That's what I do with all my other projects. Oh, that's close. So you need a three inch screw, I would assume. I measured it earlier. Cause this highlighter's like seven inches. Get my measuring tape. Hold on. It's it's close to three inches. It's two and a half. See two and a half. Okay. This is just a uh, four by four, and I'm gonna cover it with a flat tile of the knockoff Lego piece. Yes, I buy knockoffs for stuff like this and put flat tile pieces when I need blocks. Fill that in with model clay or something. Or not model clay, but air dry clay. Have some in a bucket that I use to make a face. And I tried to use it as epoxy putty, which I will be doing Dragon Stars Customs, and I'll go show you that bag of Dragon Stars, of the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan that I'm working on right now. Not finished with. Oh, here's the Teen uh, Gohan Unbattle Damaged. That's a Broly I'm working on. Can't see that. Socks that I use for painting. This Gohan's body's not finished. I highly recommend epoxy putty for stuff like this. This leg is supposed to be a tear. Gotta shave some more of that off. The head, just a splotch of blood. 
in places and taking from the mouth. Put blood on the right arm. I don't know if it's left or right. Just lots of red acrylic paint. Which well plastic. Here's this piece. Trying to find that body. Here's the waist piece. Somewhere. Okay, here it is. Yeah, it's still the back's not dry enough. Even though I did it a couple days ago. So if you just let the sleeve, the right sleeve off for that. And for this Gohan, I still liked the original battle damaged. So I cut the sleeve like I did on the first, the Super Saiyan 2 body. So I can have both Gohans with battle damage. I can have the Super Saiyan, I might paint the hair black for the base form. That Broly custom is coming soon, using the, some of the epoxy on that. So the paint I use on plastic, apple barrel acrylic paint. This is what I use for Gohan's clothes. I repaint it. It's like shiny paint. You can use the glitter paint too that it comes that you can buy. You can buy packs of it. And here's just a little sneak peek of Broly so far. Sculpting the epoxy putty right now. For some reason this Broly's not dry gotta make like cloth clothing like purple like oops clothes but purple going across but like gohan's demon clothes except there's like two big triangles uh just put oops clothes just put oops clothes i'm putting oops clothes on or not majin oob but like actual oops clothing on rolling there so that's that bag custom and i do give parts away yeah. use this for a vegito custom a while back Battle damage Super Saiyan or ba Battle damage base form Super Saiyan Blue Ve or Super Sa base form Vegito battle damaged. I use the you wanna make that get that blue apple barrel paint. Uh, the, I wa I tried washing some of the paint off because I was gonna repaint this paint couple red splotches. I can get um. All I have to do is just repaint this orange if you want me to. But I don't have the tear pieces right here. Don't have that. You gotta find it. But yeah, if you need a battle damage ultra instinct left, right leg or left leg, waist, uh, come at me. Some people got the belt orange, but I got the updated version where it's blue. And I also have the event exclusive. I have all the Dragon Stars event exclusives. But I haven't packed up. I haven't opened them. Or I opened them, but I just put them back in the packs. But, yeah. I got a blue belt, so. If anybody doesn't like their orange belt, um, I'll link my Discord u user in the description. Message me. And no, don't harass me. I'm just a child. But, uh, yeah. And I do have a Vegito belt. If anybody needs a belt, um, I'll paint it. What color they need me to paint it? Right here. I have a Gi belt. So work on Gohan, or Team Gohan, Gohan, Goku. Anybody with the Goku Gi outfit that has this belt like that. Um, I have it, so. I have a Vegito head. 
well, it's Super Saiyan Blue Vegito head, but it still works. Had the upper body for the Goku Ultra Instinct, but it's bluish because I dropped it in paint. And I was painting the legs and I couldn't get all of it off. But I'll clean it if anybody wants it. No, I'm not selling them. But you pay for shipping, so yes, I'm selling them. They're free, but you pay for shipping. I'm just selling the shipping, basically. Whatever price the shipping is, I, I sell it for that. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, so that's basically the Dragon Stars part of this video. I have no idea what I made out of hot glue. I just got bored. I call it the pencil arc reactor. No, none of the other arc reactors I've made look like this. They look a little better. I tried to use string to make wires and I'm gonna put this in, make an outer shell for like a core thing, but it's gonna be square and this is just a part of it. And like when you pull it out, I'm gonna spray paint all this blue in the back black and the wires are gonna stay orange and shave off the hot glue and stuff like that i just took apart an old dream catcher so guys have a great day and hope you the best in life god bless you and goodbye